Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at another algorithm for whole number addition. This one is called the partial sums algorithm. So let's jump in. The partial sums algorithm is achieved by working one place value at a time. One nice thing about this is that it can be achieved left to right or right to left. So students that have a preference one way or the other might gravitate towards this one. From a teacher side, we love this one because it emphasizes place value. It also can be really helpful to build mental math skills when it comes to addition, so helping students be ready to add numbers mentally. So let's take a look at how this algorithm works. We're going to go left to right on this one and we're going to add 305 plus 253. So starting on the left, that 3 and that 2 are both in the hundreds place. So we're adding 300 plus 200 to get 500. Moving now to the middle, those are in the tens place. So zero tens plus five tens or zero plus 50 gives us 50. And then finally, all the way to the right, those values are in the ones place. So five plus three adds to give us eight. Now we add those values up nice and easy. 558. Okay, now let's look at that same problem from the right to the left. So this is just a preference thing. Now this time we're going to start on the right on the right hand side. So we're going to be starting with the ones place. 5 plus 3 again gives us 8. Now moving into the middle, 0 tens plus 5 tens or 0 plus 50 gives us 50. And moving all the way to the left, 300 plus 200 is again 500. Adding those values up, we get 558. So you'll notice the only thing really different here is just kind of the way your numbers are stacked. So really, both of these are perfectly correct for this algorithm, and it's just a student-to-student -student preference. Okay, let's try it again, this time with some four-digit numbers. So starting left to right, when we get to that fourth digit there, we are working with the thousands place, so 500... 5,000 plus 3,000 gives us 8,000. Moving to the next digit, that's 500 plus 600, which actually is 1,100, or you could think of 11 hundreds. In the next one, we have 2 tens plus 4 tens, or 20 plus 40, so 60. And then finally, in our ones place, 7 plus 4 is 11. So notice here, there's no carrying, there's no trading, anything like that. We're just writing down our sum. From there, we're going to add all those values up, and we have 9,171. Of course, that same problem can be done right to left, and just like last time, you're just going to see those values swap order. So starting in the ones digits, 7 plus 4 gives us 11. Moving now to the tens place, 20 plus 40 gives us 60. Moving to the hundreds place, 500 plus 600 is 1100. And 5000 plus 3000 is again 8000. Adding those up, we get 9171. All right, guys, so hopefully this was helpful. This was partial sums algorithm for whole number addition. We'll catch you in the next video.